guys, now I would like to introduce Urium Malaysia Mineral Block UMB. UMB is prepared by mixing urea, Malaysia mineral mixture, and other ingredients in a suitable proportion. It is a readily available source of energy, protein, and mineral for the daily animal. Sloppy mending an animal with UMB would provide adequate quantity of this nutrient and through injection of urea lead to efficient microbial protein production and improved digestibility. UMB is very useful for milk production in grain further deficiency error. Hello everyone! In this video, we will show you on how to make homemade UMB. So the first ingredient that we need is molasses. Next, we also need urea. Other than that, the other ingredients that we need are salt and also mineral and cement. Lastly, we also need rice bran or corn bran. A UMMB is to prepare a container for mixing all the ingredients evenly. Next, put the molasses that have been weighed early into the mixing container. After that, add urea and mix the two ingredients evenly. Next, we are going to make a mixture of cement, salt, and powder mineral. The ingredients involved here are cement, salt, powder mineral, and water. Firstly, in a container, pour the salt into the cement and mix it truly. After that, add the mineral powder to the cement. Mix the ingredient truly by using hand. Then, pour water gradually into the mixture. Continue mixing until it becomes vicious and concentrated. Now, make sure the molasses mixture and the cement mixture are mixed together. Finally, add rice bran or corn bran. Stir until all is well blended and pour the mixture into molds to form the blocks. Each block may weigh from 1 to 5 kilos each. Wrap each block with plastic and arrange in a box. Wait for 1 to 2 weeks before feeding the block to the animals. Now I would like to explain the benefits and precautions when using UMB. The benefits for fitting UMB are UMB is a safe and uniform micronutrient delivery vehicle. UMB also can increase non-protein nitrogen utilization. Then UMB is a vehicle for delivery of malaise or fermentable lumen carbohydrates to ruminant microbes. Next, utilization of UMB can reduce ductiness of concentrate feed and also reduce feed shortage. 
Lastly, utilization of UMB can increase the feed intake as a whole and enhance palatability. The precautions for supplementing UMB included UMB only feed to ruminants such as sheep, goods, and cattle. UMB should not feed to modern grass-fed animals, for example, horses, donkey, or pigs. At the same time, UMB also cannot feed to young ruminants less than six months of age. Next, the UMB block should be used as a supplement and not as the basic ration. Then, never give blocks to an amputated animal with an empty stomach, as there is a risk of poisoning due to excessive consumption. After that, the quantity of block feed to sheep and goods should be limited to 100 grams per day, while for the cattle, it should be limited to 500 to 700 grams per day. Last but not least, the block should never be supplied in ground form or dissolved in water as this can result in overconsumption. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys can enjoy this video.